Tell me why Cameron tossed Dylan across the table. That's when the fight, he punched him in his face. Dylan punched Cameron right in the face. Today we're going to be telling another story time on the channel, but today's story time is about how I witnessed my first ever school fight. Now this happened I think in the fourth grade, but this was in the middle of school year. We're getting straight into the story. So basically, I don't remember exactly what happened. Talk about these two kids. It was a fourth grader, but this fourth grader without a doubt was like, he was big, he was taller, and he was like, like looking like a sixth grader. He did not look like a fourth grader, but he was definitely big. He was way bigger. He's bigger than me, to be honest. Not the cap. <laughs> and he was taller, and he and the fifth grader he was talking to was big and tall too, but not as big as him, but I think taller than him. So let's call the fifth grader Cameron and call the fourth grader Dylan. So basically, Cameron and Dylan got in like this fuss about i have no idea what they were fussing about they were just fussing and i think they were trying to i think they were cutting each other in lunch <laughs> which is convenient but i think they were like talking about lunch and stuff because they were by the lunch table and this is how the school fight started so basically you got all these lunch tables we were all the way in the corner eating our food and they were all the way out there so i didn't see every single thing but i saw pretty much the good things so basically he was like what was all that talking what was all that talking he like did he was pumping up his chest on him and he was like oh what was all that talking and then bruh dylan swang at him oh he he blocked it like that bro they started fighting and they started really getting into it they started like Getting each other like they start mm, trying to muscle each other out. All the kids are trying to break it up. I know one kid got punched right in his face. One kid like that wasn't even a part of the fight. I think Dylan just knocked him right in his face. They're trying to break up the fight. I'm pretty sure he passed out or something. I know he went to the nurse's office, probably gave him some ice. But basically, oh my gosh, that fight was hectic. People were going crazy, but the table that was right next to him, everybody got up, and they like, bruh, tell me why Cameron tossed Dylan across the table. That's when the fight ended. Bruh, they were like, the teachers were holding him back, the principal was called, the whole thing just turned into a crazy mess. Everybody was recording it, the people who brought their phones, because you can't bring your phone without being secret, so people were trying to record it, bruh, him getting tossed over the table was like one of the funniest things I've ever saw in my life, and I tried my best not to laugh, but luckily we're in the corner, very corner, like, I'm telling you. This was us, and they were all the way over there. So everything that I saw was really funny. So tell me, that wasn't like the fight fight. They had three fights, and I'm going to tell them all in this story. So that was their first fight, and I'm pretty sure Cameron won after tossing him over the table. So basically, both of the kids got suspended for a week. And the next week, about literally exactly the week that they fought, when they came back and they were in the schoolyard, he was like, "Oh, you you thought the fight was over?" And he was, and he, no, you thought the fight was over, bruh. He, oh my goodness, bruh. He punched him in his face. Dylan punched Cameron right in the face. He pushed him, bruh. They were on like this area. It was elevated. And if somebody jumped off, they would like fall, but if you landed on your feet, obviously you wouldn't fall down. He pushed him over the railing, because obviously they were railing. Bruh, I, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I'm so happy he didn't fall on his head. I'm so happy he didn't fall on his head. He like fell, but he like fell on his shoulder, and Cameron, no. Dylan fell right on his shoulder, the fourth grader. After punching him in the face, he just pushed him over. Oh, ooh, I know that landing hurt. 
he was like, oh, I won the fight last time and I'm about to win it again. So he jumps over the railing. He gets on him. He starts, mm, he goes, he starts going ham. But this is what the fourth grader Dylan is doing. He blocks and he just bam. Like he does, like he starts blocking the punches the best he can. And then he just bam, like bam right in the face. Ooh. So they started getting really into it. And like all the security guards are trying to break them up. And basically their parents were called. And the whole situation was handled outside. I remember I'm so happy my class was like right there by the window. So I could just peek through and I saw basically everything. Uh, they were saying how they will get arrested if they keep doing stuff like this. And Dylan said that his shoulder was injured and he needs to go to the hospital or something. So the ambulance was called and then he was pronounced with like a dislocated shoulder. So they had to pop it back in and he wasn't in school for a while. Like a while. So basically this was like around the middle of the school year. I would say around January. So... Four months later, man, he obviously came back to school, but he couldn't fight. I would say about the end of May. Yeah, this is not the end of the story. They had two fights. No, beef wasn't over. But while uh, Cameron was still at school, he would flex and say that no one can beat him, even like the biggest fourth grader, not even the biggest fifth grader, where he was talking a whole bunch of trash. And tell me why, one day, Dylan, came to school and he oh my gosh if you saw the beat up face of Cameron after Dylan was done with him I feel so bad bro Dylan came to school and absolutely rocked Cameron's behind, bruh. The next day, the motherfucker was dead. I don't know if he was working out or something, but dang. Mm. Both kids were uh, suspended the rest of the school year. Uh, luckily, Cameron didn't press charges because he was so beat up. I can't even laugh about it, bruh. The situation, the whole face, it's just... They ruined the rest of the school year. But that's it for today's story. They actually like beat each other to the point where I just, it's like no more return. Bro. It's no more return. It's just so crazy. They really beat each other up so badly that he injured his shoulder, that he like almost beat his face till he bled to the point where he almost pressed charges to the point where someone was in the ambulance. Damn! Like, what is wrong with you? Y'all fight so badly, bruh. And the fact that he tossed him over the table, and then they're punching each other, and then this is happening, and all this hectic stuff is happening. Uh, the first two school fights, Cameron won, but Dylan definitely took third one. No more words, but that's it for today's story time. I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Subscribe to the channel if you already have it, and turn on those post notifications if you want to see another upload by me. Uh, I love you guys all. We're so close to 1,000 subscribers. Please get me there. Please, please, please. And goodbye. <laughs>